Please note, when watching this video, we do not intend to damage the reputation of the brand in any way. It is in our interest to inform consumers about the origin and current owners, because the consumer has the right to be informed. The Fall of the British Car Manufacturer Rover Rover was founded in 1861 when John Kemp Starley founded a bicycle and tricycle company in Coventry and developed the world's first modern bicycle. In 1904, Starley produced his first car, an eight-horsepower vehicle. In 1906, his company became the Rover Company Ltd. More than a hundred years later, the entire rivalry between the British car manufacturers ended with their merger into the gigantic British Leyland Motor Corporation in 1968. British Leyland later changed its name to simply BL. Rover approached Honda in 1978 after failing to find a partner in Europe or the US and asked for help developing new car models. Honda offered Rover the right to license Honda models and sell them under license. In September 1979, Rover and Honda completed a license production agreement in Japan. A joint development program led to the introduction of the Honda Legend in 1985 and the Rover 800 in 1986. In 1993, it was Honda Accord and Rover 600, Rover 200, and finally the well-known Honda Civic. 1987, when the British government sold Rover to British Aerospace, a formal agreement was signed on April 14, 1990 to Honda will acquire a 20% stake in Rover and that Rover will become a 20% owner of Honda in the UK. The vast majority of cars produced by Rover at the time were Honda designs. British Aerospace offered Honda to buy all of Rover. Honda rejected the offer and Bay sold Rover to BMW. For more than 15 years, the relationship between Honda and Rover began to crumble. In the end, however, Honda decided it could not put British jobs at risk by terminating contracts. Rover continued to produce cars based on Honda designs, the collaboration between Rover and Honda continued into the BMW era. Nevertheless, the sale of BMW was the real end of a remarkable industrial episode. It was worth it. Honda was able to expand thanks to connections with the European company, and Rover was offered quality design and reliable Japanese Honda engines. Back to history. The Rover Group was founded in 1986. In 1988 Rover was sold to British Aerospace for £150 million. In January 1994, British Aerospace sold the company to German car manufacturer BMW for £800 million. From 1994 to 2000, the Rover car company was owned by the German car manufacturer, BMW. BMW's accounts, published on March 28, confirmed that Rover's losses had increased to £750 million sterling in 1999 in comparison to £642 million sterling in 1998 despite significant restructuring within Rover. BMW warned the UK government and pointed out that due to currency developments and the strength of sterling against the euro alone, the BMW group was losing more than £1 million sterling with Rover every day. While Rover's total vehicle sales fell by 25% in 1999 to 227 700 units, UK sales in the fourth quarter of 1999 increased by 11%. And so German newspapers called Rover, the English patient, and BMW announced, that if a buyer was not found by the end of May 2000, Rover's Longbridge plant will close. More than 6,000 people worked at the plant and another 30,000 employees at suppliers. 100 years of car manufacturing in Longbridge, is slowly coming to an end in total collapse. Year 2000 The British Phoenix Consortium, bought the car from BMW for a symbolic £10, because the Rover company became insolvent. However, the Phoenix Consortium was losing $3 million a day. Rover, in Geneva 2004. The purely British manufacturer already under the ownership of the Phoenix Consortium, celebrated the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Rover Car Company. As an independent manufacturer, 
Rover has a more difficult position in the highly competitive large series segments compared to the popular crossroads cars such as Volvo XC70, Audi All-Road Quattro. Alfa Romeo Cross Wagon The Rover Streetwise model, derived from the Rover 200 model, was presented in Geneva Motor Show as same as Rover 75 V8 version. Therefore, the car company solved the completeness of the model range by cooperating with external suppliers, although it was the Indian Tata Indica. The Indica V2, it's got more space, more style, better safety, and gives more mileage than any other car in its class. Indica V2, truly, more car per car. Must be true. Rover was the last major British car company that had world fame. A year after the motor show in Geneva, the company declared bankruptcy, and its debts at that time exceeded £1 billion. In 2005, the carmaker collapsed financially with debts estimated at £1.6 billion. Rover's collapse cost thousands of jobs and brought many other companies to their knees from what was once one of the biggest car factories in the United Kingdom. The extensive site of the Longbridge factory covers an area of 468 acres of large parts demolished and rebuilt to create a new city center. After the total collapse of the car company Rover, started negotiations with the Chinese state company SAIC. SAIC paid £67 million for key intellectual property rights, gaining rights to proprietary engine and car manufacturing data, but the Rover name was rejected under existing licensing agreements. Ford bought the Land Rover brand from BMW in 2000, and also acquired the right to buy the Rover name. And Ford took advantage of it. Today, the Rover brand is owned by Tata Motors. So SAIC bought the technology related to the Rover 75 and the Rover 25. In 2005, the Rowey brand first appeared, an extended version of the Rowey 750 derived from the last Rover 75. In 2007, SAIC merged with Nanjing Auto, so it now controls those MG Rover properties such as the MG name and the Birmingham factory the Longbridge factory, which the SAIC could not obtain originally. Nothing prevented Rowey from being produced in China and exported to South America, but under the MG brand. But about that, next time. MG750, for how much?